Hello guys, welcome to the next episode about the Bug Out Bag series. Um, in this episode, we're going to handle food, hydration, and cooking. Um, as always, everyone's got their own setup, they've got their own requirements, their own needs, and depending on the situation. I put my bag out for the situation of a red door, an emergency. In that situation, I do not want to cook, I don't want to make fire, I want to be as concealed as possible. Now, there are a lot of products everyone can use, there are professional products, there are home products. I myself do not nearly have the budget to buy everything that I want or neither have I yet got sponsorships. That is the planning for the future. That's why I'm doing all of this as well. So we'll get into the bag and into the food and we'll look at what I have at the moment. This is a work in progress and I'll show you as well what I would like to do forward for upgrading. Enjoy. Food. Um, a lot of guys who do the survival videos and out there like Bear Grylls and those guys will tell you not to eat too much. Now for the reason is your body consumes and uses a lot of energy to process all that food you've eaten. And in a dangerous or a survival situation, that can be crucial. So I'm going to show you the food that I have. And <laughs> the first item actually has been so much controversy and I've had so many conversation arguments about this. But the first uh, food I keep in a lunchbox. One of these nice sealed lunchboxes. And a lot of people ask me why it takes a lot of space. And I'm like, hold on a second. So my bug out bag is set the food for three days. You know the 72 hours of bubble. And let's say for instance you are uh, hiking or going a longer distance, you are doing one or two days longer observation posts, and you need extra food. So first day is done, you can always just put all the wrappings and the papers back in the lunchbox. Or Let's, for example, say you go hunting or you go fishing. And I also keep foil in there and you can just store it in your lunchbox. Or it keeps everything out of weather, out of, the, it keeps the insects or whatever out of it. Rain, weather. There's a couple of different uses for a freaking lunchbox. So, um, and I've never really actually seen anybody keep a lunchbox in their bugger bags. And I've done lots of videos, I've, I've seen lots of videos and done like research and so on and I don't know I think this is a unique idea so what do I have all right first item a protein bar now this is one of those high protein bars which is used by bodybuilders and so on and if I can give you guys a tip out of personal experience don't buy these things with chocolate wrapped inside because especially in a more desert or dense hot area the chocolate melts and when you open this everything just gets full of chocolate the wrapping your hands it's comp it's really crap um, i have a couple of these i have from usn uh, I, I tried different varieties different tastes so uh, this is the main the main food for the day and this actually keeps you quite full but it gives you all those nutrients and proteins that you need for the day. But I actually will later be going on to the energy bars. Uh, these do not have chocolate around them. Uh, you do get some of them that do like this chocolate, chocolate strawberry. Uh, I buy the different varieties that do not have the chocolate around them. Uh, also, when you play Airsoft or even in my plate carrier, uh, I put in a four or five of these just to eat during the day. Um, uh, I, when I was a kid, I used to grow up with Super C, uh, but I just have Super C in my other bag. But this is Bio Plus. It's just that high energy sweets. Um, I do not like to have a lot of sweets during the day. I do have a, in my bag a couple of suck, uh, look, um, candy, just, just so I can keep your mouth uh, hydrated during the day. And this is also one thing that causes a lot of controversy and arguments. Now, in South Africa, I do not have biltong in my bag bag. In the States, that's equivalent to beef jerky. For the reason, first of all, that it has a high salt content. And salt makes you dehydrate. And it makes you thirsty and drink only water. So, I came up with an alternative, which is peanuts and raisins lightly salted. Now, your body needs salt. But, especially in a dangerous situations, all situation, or in a desert area where you do not have a lot of water to come by. You don't want to consume salt and get thirsty all the time. 
So, lightly salted peanuts and raisins. Um, I do keep a spork in my lunchbox. Now, again, I do not cook uh, for different reasons. I will, however, upgrade my bag uh, on the side later on to the HTO pouch from Condor. Uh, I do not really see it other supplies in the country uh, so Condor is a great supply in South Africa so I'm looking into their product uh, so I want to on the side uh, put in the Everett stove I will add pictures in the video of the things that I talk about now uh, you do get uh, the Coleman's folding stove and you get different things but the Everett stove is like four or five flat pieces it folds into a small rocket stove super lightweight so easy to carry around and it fits nice into that HDL pouch and with that I'll add a couple of things later but I have a spork for whatever reason and I'll get to the reason for the spork as well um, dried fruit this is a uh, fruit roll I think this is much famous around the world this is also just for a bit of morale but just to get a bit more of those vitamins and so on in um, I usually eat this out of my bag and bag before I go out, so I, I have a sweet tooth and I like these things really a lot. So, um, a sweet roll. Also very important for me and something I really like is these peanut butter bars. Uh, peanut butter, everybody knows about it as well. Lots of protein, rich in all those minerals and stuff. But this is also just nice vacuum pack and you can keep this for a long, long, long time. Um, these energy sachets, uh, Bio Plus, and the, I tried a lot of different varieties. Um, this doesn't really add to the food, but it gives you those needed nutrients and energy during the day. And these are emergency ration or ration bars. Um, they are made and supplied by Dutrix. Um, there we go, turn the light. Um, I know the US Army and those guys supplied to the soldiers. Um, it comes in a, a, a bag, I'm gonna put it like that, of 12, and it's got 2400 calories for this whole bag. Now, I did open it and put it into different. Uh, I, I, I took four and four and four and so on, so I, I uh, divided them into different smaller portions. Um, I will add a photograph of the content of all of this, uh, if you guys can just pause and read. I got this from Tactical Distributors in St. Jordan, Pretoria. Um, those guys have a lot of nice gear, I would really like to build a friendship with them. And you guys can actually go and read about this, do some research. These emergency rations are really awesome. And for those in South Africa, uh, it tastes like Māori biscuits. Um, slightly coconut flavor to it. But yeah, Māori biscuits definitely goes with it. I have about three of these bars. And this is something else I also found, um, which is really interesting. This is called uh, the Genesis High Energy Food. How this actually works is it's a packet with uh, seven stage filtration water. It's already got water in it. And this has got like um, like a breakfast, those very th fine breakfast cereals. Um, I will also just add a link or a photograph, you guys can read about this. So what you do is you actually just pop this and then the, it's like almost like an MRE. And then the water and the food mix. And this is the reason for the spork. You can actually just eat out of this packet just like that. So there's no need to actually take out your water bottle. Eat it like this. This is actually more for breakfast or really later on for but yeah, um, since I've been hiking since I was five years old, we always had those unmock pop in the morning, the porridge, like when you turn stuff like that. So, but this is just easy, I keep it in my lunchbox as well. And as I said, uh, just some foil if you maybe, for instance, want to cook something or wrap something, or whatever. Um, thin, lightweight, and has a couple of different uses to it. So that basically is just the food that I have in my bag bag at the moment. You guys are welcome to add something else, uh, give me great ideas, I'll make a video about it. And over to hydration. Now, probably the best 500 Rand at a time you can spend, or I don't know how much the price overseas 
is the Soy Mini. Uh, there's a lot of different water filters out there. Um, I really went with the Soy Mini because it's got the so many different uses. It's uh, really uh, um because the I know some ones are bigger, whatever. But the large straw actually really it turns onto a two-liter Coke bottle that's then fitting. Um, you suck on it and gonna add a straw or whatever there's so many different uses and in any survival any tactical any outdoor situation water is important it's probably most, the most important and to filter water but i do not only have the soy meal um, i have to add quickly i do not as yet have an h2o bladder a water bladder i there's a couple of different brands out there condor k or whatever camelback um, some of them are out of my price range a lot so I will try and see and wiggle whatever I can get. Maybe someone will sponsor me one as well. And obviously do a review about it. But with the Soya Mini comes uh, two of these water containers, water pouches. Um, they are actually very steady and so on. Um, it says 16 ounces, but I googled some time ago. I think it's about half a liter per bag. So an extra liter of this. But eventually when I get an H2O blader, I will put this aside. Probably just put it in the car or something like that. I'll put it in my uh, my secondary bottle bag. But with the water as well for purification, I have uh, potassium permanganate, uh, potassium permanganate. Uh, there's so many different uses for this. Uh, you can make fire with it. Uh, you can use it as a disinfectant, and you can use this as a water purifier. So a lot of different uses for this. Uh, you guys are welcome. Do yourself a favor and go and research about this potassium permanganate and also just a couple of these water purification tablets these are a bit old but i think you could still use them uh, this was probably the first or the cheapest method for everyone out there no you need to speak a lot about water purification and i will however later go on like i said HL bladder, but i will over upgrade later to a smaller canteen that will fit into that hto pouch um, of seen there are a lot of quite good makes out there, especially stainless steel or that um, I am quite a fan of the clean canteens and maybe those guys will send me one or the distributors of that in South Africa will send me one. But at the moment I just have one of those cheap aluminium bottles. Aluminium is actually poisonous so I'm trying to really get away from this. I do have one of those green army surplus store water bottles but the thing is you can still cook and boil water with the aluminium one or if or if for some reason you can just also just add food whatever so i keep this inside of my bucket bag um i hate the red i will actually go with i did paint it for one of my staff camping videos but uh, i forgot to add the primer but yeah this is just also i think this is a 750 or a liter model uh, 750 ml or a liter bottle but i will definitely try and get away from this as quick as possible but also for that i have I really do not know what the hell you call this. Um, a water pouch. In Afrikaans, we call this a BS Blast. A cow bladder, <laughs> if you want to put it like that. But yeah, um, thin, lightweight. You can add one and a half liter to this. So if you really need to, to uh, pack extra water, you can just keep extra water in this. Um, what I forgot to mention was as an extra. Um, which I probably will not use, depending whether you boil normal water and bring it through this, is uh, I actually used my game at the last airsoft, I need to get game sachets, but is these unmockle drunk? Um, I honestly forgot the word in English. Um, so that's these sachets with the cool drink powder and just add this, you've got like a rose. Um, this is more just also for mor morale. Um, you cannot add this to a water bladder or whatever because you cannot suck the small pieces through the water filter. So it's not really going to work that well. But uh, this was actually in the beginning of my bag, bag I had one of these. But uh, I just keep it there. Maybe you'll need it. You never know. And I have these coffee sachets. Um, coffee also makes you dehydrate. But if you are in a situation where you really need to keep awake, um, I will eventually upgrade to caffeine tablets. But at the moment, I have one of these. I mean, anybody like to boil water and have a nice cup of coffee in the morning, but then again, like I said, concealed, no fire, whatever. 
But also why I have one of this is one of those um, I see how many uh, these different varieties, hot chocolate, white chocolate, whatever. This is a uh, choc cappuccino, so it's a chocolate cappuccino. Why I also add this is if you are in a situation where you can boil water, this really adds to the morale. Um, I really, I'm a man, I drink coffee, not tea. Um, no, thank you, Grandma. So, at the end of the long day, or the beginning of, of, of the beginning of a long day, you want to have a, an, a cup of coffee at least. So, uh, just for the morale sake, and this is with that four in one. It's got the coffee, creamora, the creamer, sugar, all those things just added. And that's yeah, for to keep your mental health up. Yes, guys, that is pretty much this. Please uh, leave comments. Tell me what you have. Tell me what's better. What's extra. Uh, this is, like I said, a beginner to a more beginner, but more advanced setup. Uh, I will eventually do upgrades as well. But for now, this is what I have. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. And get your gear out. Bye.